Hampton. I'm the author of The Early King and The Kid in Yellow. Uh, and I'm really happy to be here in Kenny's bookshop to read a little bit for you. Rain is the constant moment. It perpetuates the city streets, the alleyways, the gutters, the canals, streaming down windows, the hiss of a few cars, the steam. Beads of rain like messages, like words from ghosts that we just couldn't understand. Sheets of rain, systems of rain. A sound comes out of the night cloud, an endless patter, a spectrum of single notes that are finite each, but somehow infinite altogether. Pattering, slapping, pounding, tapping, hissing, hammering, teeming, gushing, spitting, thrashing, thundering. In plastic skins, the people hold themselves tight. The dampness seeps into the bones of each citizen, into everything. The echo of water covers everything, lulls everything. Thinking people, like ye, had theories about why it rained for so long without ever stopping. Some said that all life came from water and that a country that drenches itself in rain for hundreds of years is maybe trying to rebirth itself. It's probably true that things went very bad on our island, and so maybe there's truth to what those people said. But for that to happen, a country has to have a mind and a spirit all of its own. Maybe that's true too. Maybe all I know is my own small part in it, that I was born near the capital and raised and lived most of the years of my life before I saw a break in the Irish cloud. The time I first saw the sun with my own eyes and not on Televisio is a day I can no longer talk about. But I'll tell you what else I can. I'll tell you that every culture has its myths and Ireland was no different. They say that she was won over from the Tua de Danon by the warrior poet, Aurigan. Sent out over nine waves, Aurigan invoked the whole country with a poem. He was the sea wave and that was the start of Ireland. Then they say that Ireland was lost to fire, to digital collapse and environmental drowning. The culprits this time were the early king and the kid in yellow. They say that the kid stole the cure for the rain from the king and that the king and his men pursued the kid across a drenched land, plain and dale, river, lake, valley and mountain. The king was the strongest man in Ireland. The kid was a hard fist of bright yellow. This is what they say. Well, they're not far wrong. You've heard different versions, of course, but I like this start the best. Mm -hmm. 